Hello, fellow book questers, it is I, Aaron the Book Quester. Today I introduce you to this um, almighty series The Mortal Instrument, City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls. I know there's one more book, I haven't read it yet, I'm sorry. But, you know, I can't do a book question of a book that I've not read. So, and today I'm not just sit here and say boring things about these books. I'm just gonna, I'm just here to say things about my Aldea Bible references. And you say, hmm, I know, but these books are based on mythology and the Bible. And that makes it very, well, interesting and interesting to find the Bible references that actually do exist throughout the Bible. Let's go through it first. The Kingfisher's Children's Bible. I bought it when I was a kid, and I read it through and through. But the thing is that it's not very detailed. I mean, it's very accurate, but it's not very detailed. It's for children, after all. And first of all, I'm here to show you the first of the one of the first stories, Cain and Abel. This story is about Cain, who killed his brother Abel, and and Cain was cursed, and he was made an outsider forever. Now, now it's not very detailed in this part of the story. But it's actually very, very detailed in, in when, when I went into a site called yeah, Bible Getaway. It's a very good site. And here it is. Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is more than I can bear. Today you are driving me from the land, and I will be hidden from your presence. I will be a restless wanderer on the earth, and whoever finds me will kill me. But the Lord said to him, Not so. Every Anyone who kills Cain will suffer vengeance seven times over. That is actually very interesting. At, um, the, this mark of Cain, as it is referenced in this series, is given to Simon Lewis, who is... Well, a vampire, and and in the Battle of the City of Glass, um, he is given a very interesting power of Simon Lewis's power. He's given the mark of Cain. It was supposed to be given on the roll by the God's hand, and the mark of Cain made him a wanderer forever. But anyone who tried to kill him or harm him in any way will suffer vengeance. Seven times over. Simon Lewis has it. He's almighty. He's Mr. Indestructible. It's very, very convenient. And actually really fun. To think of it, if you had a backup buddy who can't be killed, it would be very interesting to have one. Who had a guy who can't be killed. So if someone hit him, the guy will be hit seven times over. Someone, someone hurt him, he, they will be... They'll be, hit, they'll be stabbed seven times over, which is probably kill them, and so on. It's very, very, very useful. Regretfully, it's taken away in the city of lost souls, but, you know, things can't be so perfect. And, and the book's all great, and there's a reference of Parbiety, the, the ones who look after each other. And um, it is said, the Bible reference, that it will... Well, yeah, it will. The it was referenced. It was made because um the when when uh when a king said that he was conjunct forever, their soul min soul mingled, and that reference it is said in this book made parbaita. I don't know how to pronounce it. But I'm guessing it's parabatai. It's Greek, okay? Greek letters are hard. Except diamond, because diamond is diamond. Never mind. And it's really fun to know that it's actually from the Bible. I mean, who 
even I, as as I want to be an author, really want to write to write books, and some of them I will, I try to make some some of the Bible ish things, not just Greek, Babylonian, Aztec, um, Roman, Egyptian, Norse mythos. But I really wanted to make some Bible, uh, some of the Bible stories into my story. And when Cassandra Clare has actually combined several mythos of ancient civilizations and the great God's Bible and make it a thrilling story, it's very, very interesting to read. And 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 you and and I checked in the Bible. She's not faking it. I knew that, but I just needed to check. And it's actually really cool, huh? This Mark of Cain is actually mentioned in the, in this fun fantasy book, and it's in this Bible. It makes you kind of rifle through your old Bibles and and read it. Incidentally, trying to find some of the Bible references that is made in this book, and that makes it a good motivator to read the Bible. Also, that's exactly why. You should read this book because if you read this book, you're not only being recommended into this huge Tarot Hunter Chronicles, but also the great inspiring Bible. It's a, there. This series is a great series. I haven't read The City of Heavenly Fire yet, but I will by the time you've seen this video. Most likely, I hope. And yeah, that's it, I guess. And like always, a book quester, I am the book quester.